Hello, my name is Samuel Warne and I'm currently completing my Masters by Research at the University of Gloucestershire. It's my privilege to be able to share with you the latest findings from my current research, Active Lockdown, exploring the effect of government enforced lockdown on physical activity habits and the corresponding relationship with well-being. It has repeatedly been demonstrated that physical activity has positive effects on our physical health and mental health with regular activity benefiting cancers, diabetes, coronary heart disease, depression, anxiety, attention, learning and academic performance. This is why the World Health Organization recommend all adults do 150 minutes of moderate intensity activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity each week. They've now also challenged every country to reduce their physical inactivity levels by 10% by the year 2025. However, the latest updates suggest that no country is currently on track to meet these. There have been many excuses as to why people don't exercise, with common reasons being a dislike of the feeling of exhaustion, a lack of motivation, and most commonly, a busy schedule leading to a lack of spare time. However, the arrival of COVID-19 and the ensuing enforced lockdown has presented an opportunity to investigate whether having more spare time actually made a difference to individuals' physical activity behaviour. This research has five hypotheses as listed on the screen in front of you. Hypothesis one predicted that individuals would do more physical activity during lockdown than they did before. Hypothesis two predicted that there would be a positive relationship between physical activity levels and their mental well-being. Hypothesis three predicted that individuals isolating alone would do more physical activity during lockdown than those isolating with others. Hypothesis four predicted that individuals isolating alone would score lower on the mental well-being than others. Hypothesis five predicted that individuals who perceive themselves to have more spare time during lockdown would also do more physical activity. Method. Due to the nature of the pandemic, the design utilised an online survey system which gained 231 participants through various social media channels. The survey collected demographic data which included information such as work status pre and during COVID, the number of people in the house of the participant during lockdown, and crucially, whether the participant believed they had more spare time during the lockdown period. Respondents then completed the Warwick Edinburgh Mental Wellbeing Scale, a 14 item Likert scale design with strong validity and reliability, which measured the self reported wellbeing of the participant during the lockdown. After this, participants completed two iterations of the past week modifiable activity questionnaire. The first was retrospectively based on a week before the COVID pandemic, and the second was based on a week during. The questionnaire disregards work-based activity, making it a natural selection when many were not able to work or were not working in their usual role. By providing data about the amount of time spent doing listed activities, a metabolic equivalent per hour was produced for each participant, both before and during the pandemic. Between these, those who were able to were invited to provide accelerometer data, such as steps and distance, for the, from the devices such as Fitbits. Preliminary results. Lockdown appeared to have a positive effect on physical activity, with both METs per hour and overall time spent exercising increasing during the lockdown period, as is shown in the top two graphs on the right. Although accelerometer data suggests that the average steps per week actually decreased. Physical activity level and well-being showed a significant correlation with both time and METs per hour displaying correlation coefficients of 0.2 and statistical significances of 0.002 when correlated with well-being scores. The effect of the number of people in the house during lockdown was also investigated, but showed very little difference in either well-being or time spent exercising. However, the main finding of the initial research is the difference in activity levels of those who believe they had more spare time. The mean time exercising among those who believe they had more spare time was over three hours longer per week, also proving to be statistically significant when a t-test was run. The next steps for this research is to monitor the effects over two more time points. Firstly, shortly after gyms reopen in England, and again post-COVID to see if any behaviour changes became permanent among the sample. Thank you for your time. Please don't hesitate to get in touch.